Hello my lovely Scorpio, welcome to this reading and welcome, welcome to this channel. How are you, my beautiful soul? I hope you're well. I hope you're very, very well. Now, we're going to do a weekly reading. Yes, indeed. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, please check your chart and pop in those videos to see what message is there for you as well. And this is going to be for a week of November 20th through to 26th. So for those who are celebrating your birthday uh, in early uh, week, so happy birthday to you, my beautiful souls. I wish you have a uh, fantastic day and happy new year to you so that is your kind of new year for you starting as well well let's have a look what is going on in your life right now oh my goodness okay okay interesting concern hmm. putting two two together oh that is so interesting very very interesting Okay, Scorpio. Something is not adding up. Straight away, every time I look at these cards differently, Spirit gives me a message. And it's just like said to me, something is not adding up. Look, the to two are concerned. Is this about person? Is this about work, life in general? Is something on your mind? Like, it's like, as if like mass, you are creating master plan. Well, that's what I'm feeling. You are spending a lot of time in your thoughts. Perhaps so much time that uh, sometimes people are talking to you and you're like, what What did you say? And you are completely in your head thinking, planning or replaying a conversation. And you're thinking, okay, why did I say this? Why did I say that? And you're kind of like, oh, oh, what can I make with it? What? And you're like trying to maybe read between the lines what's going on. There is lots on your mind. We're going to find out what is going on. But there's a sound coming through this, this beautiful. It's a beautiful setting here, okay? So this is nothing about poverty. This is not about being poor or being struggling with something. But this is something you want to maybe more. Or something is on your mind that you need. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. I'm seeing cubic cervix. Someone is trying to make the pieces work, okay? Um, and that's what I'm feeling, that you are trying to... It could be final touches on certain things, but something is puzzling you. And that's what I'm feeling here. Something is puzzling you. Okay. Scorpio, what's going on? Well, we have Mars is entering Sagittarius this week. So it's definitely uh, fireworks expect because this will exp kind of really expand people's knowledge, experience, wanting something more, maybe changing their hair colors, changing jobs, even really stepping out of their comfort zone and being bold and being daring and widening their horizons in a way. And so maybe that what is the thing. Maybe you're feeling like, Mm, I could do better, I could do more, I could have more. And that's perhaps is some on some of your minds as well. Let me know in the comment section what are you thinking? What's going on in your life? Let's dive in what's happening this week, Scorpio. Oh wow. Capricorn, okay. Oh, oh my goodness. It's such an I love the way the story is building. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah okay this is good to see you have if you look at the back of the past for example okay if I get the cards together And this is what where you're at right now. As if like looking at the other options, juggling something, thinking how to improve something because either something has not worked out or it's, it could be uh, not necessarily with some of you might experience a person or situation that has slipped through your fingers, not necessarily deceit, but it could be something maybe it was promised to you and it's just not happening and it's not about to happen either because there was some sort of either position or some sort of offer were on horizon and it's perhaps is not aligning, it's not happening. And now you're kind of thinking, okay, so which of these pentacles shall I take? Which of these um, job offers, uh, people, person, whatever it is, shall I pursue? And it's kind of you feeling maybe stuck or feeling like, okay, I need to take time and think. 
because I feel like there's so much on my mind, especially with this juggling feeling that you're kind of like, by the time comes Sunday, you realize it's already Monday morning and you blink three times and it's Sunday again. It feels like time is going so quick for you and you haven't had a chance to actually think. I feel like some of you literally need, I need my thinking time and get my thoughts together. Now, and currently there's a devil card and I will clarify that devil card as well. Um, but I feel like there's, you're feeling out of chain. It could be as well, I'm hearing a, a spirit is telling me, as if like you're either someone's holding your hand quite tight and it is kind of you're feeling either guilty leaving a person or place and it's purely because of some sort of a promise or relationships let's see this maybe you had a person that was you get on well with at work or whatever okay and you get on with this person well however their promise has not materialized but you still get on with the person because they really gave you maybe some sort of support maybe they gave you some kickstart you know in your career whatever and you feel kind of guilty leaving but you know it's time to move on and it's something that you are thinking maybe that could be as well an issue that maybe you're thinking hmm how should i get out of this situation nicely okay without breaking uh someone's heart or breaking uh, the trust and loyalty and, and the trust that has been built along the way. Let's clarify that. that yeah, it's heavy load. It's it, I feel like maybe some of you are working someone else's. Maybe you're working um, different um, duties and, and you, you're doing actually more than you should be doing. And you feel kind of obliged. Obligation, I'm feeling like. As if like either you're trying to please someone or kind of look good. Even though it gives you a lot of... Um, experience and everything like that finally you okay you realize okay i need to be paid for this as well pages are messengers so i feel like okay i want to make money out of this how am i going to do that without losing my face losing resources okay feeling maybe you need to step out of this and then you think okay if i step out of this relationship situation am i going to lose out on something no because then you are open to new offer because we have the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups isn't just about love or for anything like that, but it's something that lifts your spirit. And this offer, whenever that comes, is leading to a beautiful, beautiful, abundant way of living. Okay. And you do not need to worry about is this right or not? Of course, how you say it, how you play it right, um, diplomatically. But I feel like you it's about time you step um step away from this situation or some sort of combination of situations that is happening there because it makes you miserable and here you kind of like mm. it, it leaves you kind of uh, kind of cold in a ways and there's definitely closure hap um, happening it needs to happen this ten of swords another closure needs to happen you need to okay i'm gonna say as it is you need to tell as it is, politely, nicely, and move on. Because you have this beautiful offer, okay? Your heart is overwhelmed with emotions and situations. But good good to see that we have the Wheel of Fortune. Because Wheel of Fortune is changing. The tables are turning. Something is definitely improving. But you got to do your part as well. Now, what I'm seeing, what I most importantly want to see, what comes after the Wheel of Fortune. Because Wheel of Fortune could mean, oh... Uh, things are turning, but are they turning for better? Absolutely. Chariot is a career card. It's a card of path and journey and moving up the ladder. And it's it's uh, all that kind of stuff. But it's about, it could be some of you are getting your vehicle or uh, movement. This is definitely mind over matter and controlling the bad and the good and ugly. But this is as well um, driving yourself to the next you know, next level. And with the Ten of Pentacles, that definitely means other um, improvements at work, uh, pro promotion, um, really driving, your, like putting yourself out there, okay? He's going to the stars, the moon, okay? And whenever he's want to go, okay? And you got to, you got to. You need to think of yourself right now, okay? Um, maybe that person wanted to support you earlier, but they're out of there. They, they cannot support you any more longer. Let's have a look at the past. Okay. 
interesting we have two, two times the three of cups you're going to be choosing you're going to be choosing regarding a people a person as well and making that um choice what is valuable to you and it's up to your choice to be honest no one can make your cho choice for you because you have free will scorpio everyone has a free will including you and let's have a look at the future guys you can't make this happen. you just can't make this happen okay because we have another Ten of Pentacles as a future. And interestingly, at the bottom we have this Nine of Swords. Okay, You're very concerned whether you're going to get the, get this place. You are going to get this offer. But you need to make sure that you close the door on the past. You close the door on the previous um, uh, person. Or to make sure that they are know. That they know. Okay, So you are more clear, um, clean slate. Start fresh. Okay, You learned a lot. But it's time for you to move on. You need to cash in the work that you've been doing okay and because you're more than capable you are good enough you do not question yourself and you are destined to make a lot of lots of coins that's for sure all right and that's all i have for you today i really hope that really helped if it did let me know in comment section or even a thumbs up it really helps me to help you guys as well anyhow love you and leave you and i'll see you guys sir in the next reading